Hi guys, welcome back to Empower In. My name is Caroline Porter Thomas. In this video, we are going to go over a nursing exam or NCLEX style question related to the drug class ACE inhibitors. If you haven't seen the main video, don't worry. Look below in the description section and you will find it there. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel because we're going to be uploading a bunch more questions related to this drug class. So let's get started. Question number one. The 33-year-old hypertensive client mentions that she thinks she's pregnant. Upon reviewing the client's list of medications, the nurse takes note of which medication that can be contraindicated in pregnancy. Select all that apply. A. Lisinopril B. Amlodipine C. Metoprolol D. Herbisartan E. Methyl Dopa and F. Simvastatin It is very important for women to review their medication list with their obstetrician as soon as she discovers that she is pregnant. With option A, women should not use lisinopril if they are pregnant. Studies have proven that this could cause harm to the unborn baby. And option B, you might see Norvasc ordered for your pregnant patient. Her doctor may prescribe it when the benefit outweighs the risk. Animal studies have failed to reveal evidence of teratogenic or fetal toxicity. However, there are no controlled studies done on women. In option C, human studies have been done on pregnant women and findings are that metoprolol readily crosses the placenta, but no teratogenic effects have been reported. The data of its use during pregnancy has no controls. It may be prescribed when the benefit outweighs the risk, as there is no controlled data in human pregnancy. In option D, Avipro is category D by the FDA. Some studies have proven incidence of early fetal reabsorption and decrease in live births. This drug acts directly on the renin angiotensin system and can cause fetal and neonatal morbidity and death when administered to a pregnant woman. So it is considered contraindicated. In option E, you might see ordered for your pregnant patient when the benefit outweighs the risk. It does pass through the placenta and it occasionally causes mild hypotension in neonates of treated mothers. However, it has been safely used to treat hypertension during pregnancy, and many doctors consider using it as the drug of choice for their pregnant hypertensive patient. In option F, the use of Zocor during pregnancy is contraindicated. This drug is in US FDA pregnancy category X. Since studies in animals or humans have demonstrated fetal abnormalities, so the risk involved in using Zocor during pregnancy outweighs the potential benefits. Making the final answer options here, A, D, and F, as all of these are contraindicated in pregnancy. Always look for phrases like the benefit outweighs the risk meaning that it may be prescribed and the risk outweighs the benefits, meaning that it should not be prescribed. And of course, always check all drugs as ordered for pregnant and lactating women. All right, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that question and I hope that you learned a lot. So like I mentioned before, make sure you stay tuned to the channel and if you want immediate updates, you can sign up for email updates. The link for that is below. All right, I'm going to upload the next question as soon as it's available. I'll see you guys in a bit. I love you, bye.